So I think there's a couple of reasons why agency owners, coaches, and consultants struggle when it comes to sales. The first and the biggest one is most people don't like sales. For a lot of people, sales is something that is uncomfortable. It's scary. It's kind of a dirty word almost. Like they, they feel like they're doing something that's dishonest. And so they don't want to. The other reason why sales also tend to be a little bit of a challenge is uh, imposter syndrome and self-doubt. Yep. A, a lot of times people are uh, afraid that what it is that they're selling, they may not be able to deliver on. And it's hard to state with confidence in a room, like we're going to do this, we're going to do that, when you don't truly believe that you can deliver uh, on what it is that you're promising to deliver on. There's a couple of theories or um, you know ways of going about thinking about this that, that may be helpful for some people. It may not be helpful for others, um, but odds are pretty good. And I, I think this one is universally true. Odds are pretty good. You are better at the solution than your clients are. So even if you're not perfect at it yet, if you go into it knowing that one, you truly are gonna be helpful because you have a lot more experience in this than, than your clients do, even if it's not in this exact you know way of building it or this exact process or this okay. exact uh, outcome that you're aiming for. You know, you, you've spent time within this space and, and this is where you're gonna spend all your time thinking and trying to improve it. Clients are not, they're moonlighting stuff. Um, and so they do need the help, even if this is not necessarily the perfect answer. The truth is there is no perfect answer. There is no perfect solution. There is no pr perfect product or service. Um, because even if it was perfect for one person, it's not going to be perfect for somebody else. So I think one is give yourself a little bit of grace that you're not aiming for perfection. Um, you're aiming for the right thing to be able to help your clients. And if you're coming at it from a place of truly wanting to be helpful, you're going to put in the work to do a good job and you're going to learn along the way and you're going to be able to help other people in the future more. That's true, but that's okay. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to help anybody ever 